TP, Typey, T Perry, um, we need to talk woman to woman about this film. Tyra Perry, I don't know why you love seeing hurt women so much. I don't know why. I don't know why it's your kink. I don't know why you always want to depict the black woman as this downtrodden trope in every single film that you make. And it's insulting considering you ain't one. And that's no matter how much you've tucked and said, hey, you're there on stage. I'm not gonna hold you because you, I'm gonna give you your props because I remember being a kid in a beauty shop and people were pushing your DVDs. And I cannot deny your impact. The studio is amazing. Um, I would wish, I wish you would hire people to help you write these things because they're bad. They're just bad. The wigs, let's address the wig. Uh, what in the blue magic is wrong with you? The wig decisions are distractions. All I can see is the, is the paint still drying on the wig? One thing about you, TT, is that you are very consistent, which is why we see these same wigs, these same poor writing decisions, these same characters, and everything that you put out. Um, and then you try and like trick us into thinking it's a good movie by like adding a twist at the end. It's like, ah, either somebody dead, somebody about to die, somebody killed somebody, or somebody got AIDS. In a nutshell, this movie is about this woman named Grace who goes to jail uh, because she has been accused of murdering her husband, um, of which she had a whirlwind of a romance with. He's courting her, he's taking her on dates and buying her flowers like he don't have that haircut. And, um, and wearing scarves to dinner with her. And he's supposed to be this photographer, which is why it looks like he dresses like a stud on their birthday. And then surprise, surprise, turns out this nigga ain't shit. And he steals all this girl's money. And then we find out him and Felicia Rashad. Felicia Rashad is the bad guy in this movie. And I appreciate you putting Felicia Rashad in that place in my mind. The whole movie was just like, I'm not gonna lie, sometimes when I watch Tyler Perry films, I'm like, does he think we're stupid? Like, when we watch these movies, because I understand, like, you wanna drop little nuggets, you wanna, like, put little hints and like, ooh, I'm gonna drop this here, and I'm gonna drop this here, and you gonna think about this later. But he was, like, heavy on the gas with the foreshadow, just, like, real heavy with it, to the point where it's, like, it's overkill, and can you please leave some room? For some mystery from some imagination like but then again i can't really tr i can't really trust you to do that either because how did taraji get back on the boat how did taraji get back on the boat the world may never know it's like we don't know what goes down in the bermuda triangle we don't know what happened with beyonce in that elevator and we're never gonna know how taraji got back on that boat there's a few things about this movie that gave me like hella pause number one so she kills her husband right with a whole bat and i mean like that bat Beyonce was swinging in a whole other video. It was a bat, like a full, that bat was a grown ass man. Shannon, her husband, was sitting on the couch and she wailed on him. Bop, 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 straight in the noggin. He had a dent. It was like a solo cup. You know, like solo cups got the dents for your fingers on the side. He had a whole solo cup fingerprint, just like boom, right in his, um, cerebrum cortex then she drags him across the room there's blood everywhere drags him across the room throws him downstairs boom sh uh, shuts the door now if you are like me and you watch this movie and you're like oh he is absolutely deceased he is dead like dead dead during the twist or right before the twist at the end of the movie not only is he not dead they had the nerve all he has are two black eyes So you mean to tell me you can get hit in the head with a bat a multitude of times to the point where your skull is dented and your face is halfway off. You're bleeding out everywhere, thrown down the stairs. He took a goddamn tumble, sis. And you can live through that and have only two black eyes? T. 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 Come on. Come on, bruh. We define science now. There's just so much dumb shit that happens in this movie too. The only reason why we even make that connection that Sarah is working with Shannon, who we later find out is her son. During one of the court scenes, Grace sees Sarah, Felicia Rashad's character, wearing the same necklace 
that he was wearing when they first met at this gallery show. Also, the very beginning of the movie, it opens up with a girl jumping off a roof that doesn't become relevant until like hour one minute 52. Like dead ass, like you don't, the connection isn't made until hours later, like literally the end of the movie. And speaking of the end of the movie, there is a twist. It is a twist. It is a twist. And here's me reacting to it. The wig gonna protect him from the gunshots too. <laughs> like what? He got the same Henley on. What we've learned is that Shannon, his real name is Maurice Mills, and his mother Betty Mills, also known as Sarah Miller, have been kidnapping elderly women, taking their wealth, and holding them hostage for their social security. Now he's one of the What? It's <laughs> this movie. What in the hell? TP, you really hate women, dog. That's my wig. But yeah, Fall From Grace fell flat. Also, um, I know I'm like kind of bragging on this movie right now, but this is a nitpicky thing. The movie didn't look great. Like there was not a lot of like artistic value to like the cinematography at all. Um, and so it just kind of made it even, it just made it harder to watch in a way, just because it was, there was nothing adding to the story visually. Honestly, I feel like at this point, Tyler Perry, you should just like have your own new genre of movie and it's just gonna be called like, stressed ladies who sweat when they- Yep, I watched The Fall From Grace on purpose. Let me know what y'all thought of A Fall From Grace. It is on Netflix, it just came out this week. If I were to give it a rating, one out of five, five being like, yes, beautiful gowns, amazing, everybody watch it. And one being, this is the purest basura. I would say, I would give it a, like a hard two off the ending alone and just because Felicia Rashad was in it. Let me know what other movies you would like me to review and I'll see y'all soon, another one. Bye girl.